video if you just watched me for the first time my name is lisa smiles and i am your hair evangelist we're here on my channel i use my gift of doing your hair and making you kiki so god can reach your soul okay come on god god gave me that intro right there now let's sit that right there because that sound good that sound good so we want to welcome the smiles trial to another video now this gonna be a good video tonight this gonna be a really good video tonight i am giving y'all five reasons why your edges ain't growing back sis why your edges ain't growing back so this is gonna be a good video so y'all make sure can y'all do me a favor okay because y'all getting this information for the free 99 so the the, the the least y'all can do is share this video out, please, okay? Share it to your friends, share it to your grandma and them, your cousin and them. Y'all know your homegirl who ain't got no edges. Sis been trying to grow them edges back, and them edges ain't growing back. Now, look, you send this video out of love, okay? You send this video out of love, okay? You just trying to help your sis out, so send this video. Send this video. So please share the video if y'all don't mind. If if the spirit leads y'all, okay? I ain't gonna beg y'all. I ain't gonna beg. I ain't gonna make y'all do it. If the spirit leads you to share it, share it. Cause I think it's gonna be some good information. And if y'all could ever so kindly, and I never asked y'all to do this. I don't, I don't say this a lot, but can y'all like the video? <laughs> and if you're not subscribed, if the if the if the spirit move you by in this live stream, you might as well go ahead and subscribe because we be dropping gems daily on this channel with this hair or you going to come and get a laugh or you going to come and get a kiki. Now, I feel like I already got to take a sip of water. <gasps> <laughs> oh, no. Now I don't touch my camera. My hands was greasy and now I'm giving y'all Android energy. Now I got to wipe the camera off. So y'all bear with me. Lisa over here doing the most. Oh Lord. Is that better? Is that better? Hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I can't give y'all Android energy. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Now I want everybody to calm down. Don't nobody panic. Don't nobody panic. <laughs> All I was trying to do is grab my water. And I, that's all sis was trying to do is grab the water. That's all I was trying to do is grab my little water. So I did not about not over the camera. So <laughs> let's take a sip. Let's take a sip. Now, I know y'all heard me gulping. I know y'all ain't like that. But look, you just going to have to take it. You just going to have to take it, okay? It's a two-way relationship. I might do some things you might not like and vice versa, okay? So just take it, okay? So do we have any church announcements tonight? Um. Oh, church announcements. Oh, I had to remember to order it tonight. So church announcements is if um you're looking to order the Glow Butters, they will be restocked um by early of next week. Um, also February calendar, if you look into book an appointment for February, February calendar will be opening up on the 15th and the 15th is on Sunday. Is that Sunday or Monday? Let me, let's look at the calendar. The 15th is on Sunday. So if you're looking to book a hair appointment with me for February, the calendar opens up on January the 15th. And always remember my calendar always open up for the next month on the 15th of each month. So just put the 15th in your calendar every month, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard, Eastern Standard Time, so you can book your hair appointment, okay? And if you need a Saturday, you got to be on there on the 15th because it made the odds be fair in your favor because all the good slots get gone. So right now, it's slim pickings. And right now, you just got to lean on the everlasting arms and hope somebody counts because... January is pretty much done unless somebody counsels. So if you wasn't able to get in in January, make sure um, in my description box, there's an 855 number. You can text that number 
and be added to my text blast. And anytime there's a cancellation, yeah, I send it out to everybody and um, you can be alerted of the cancellations. Okay. So I talked about that hair appointments. Um, yeah. And so look, if you're somebody and you are suffering from eczema, you have dry skin, I make glow butters, which is an all natural body butter that has healing properties for eczema, dry skin. Or if you just, you just want you to get your glow on. Okay. Y'all see the face. Y'all see us glowing. Okay. We got glow butter on the face. Okay. Now what I have with my face is the unscented glow butter. I don't put the scented glow butter on my face, but I put the other scented glow butters all over my body. Okay. All over my body and they don't break me out. Okay. And I have eczema. So yeah. And if you need to protect your hair, we have a beaner right here. And you can get you a Lisa Smiles bonnet. So I think that's all the church announcements we have. We're going to go ahead and greet the moderators and greet the Smiles tribe. And then we're going to go ahead and get into the topic. Now, if you watch me for the first time, we've been doing a lot before we get into this topic, okay? Because now I got to pull up my chair. I feel like I'm kind of low. Now, y'all forgive me. I be having a lot going on. Okay, so now, okay. I try to have my hair down, but I feel like it's getting in my face. Okay. So first, look, we now Gigi was in the vestibule. Gigi was in the vestibule waiting. Gigi was first in the building. Gigi said she was ready. And it looks like, praise be to God, that Saxton is doing much better now. And she said she took him to the doctor. So he is back to himself. So can we praise God for Brother Saxton? <laughs> Let's praise God for Brother Saxton feeling better. If y'all don't know, um, Gigi just me, that's her dog. That's her, that's her child. That is her child. And he is feeling a lot better. So we praise God for that. All right. And then we also had Tracy Ann in the building. Tracy Ann is one of our moderators. Y'all go ahead and thank the moderator in advance. In advance, Tracy Ann. Thank you so much for uh being here tonight. Big sis, aka head usher, is in the building tonight. Head usher is early tonight. She been head usher been off a couple of nights. So look, don't y'all work her too bad now in the chat. Don't get beside yourself. Don't get beside yourself. So thank you, Tracy Ann, for always coming up and serving and watching the replay. And <laughs> Gigi said her edges are special to you. And everybody edges should be special to them, okay? Everybody should care about their edges. You should care about your edges more than me, okay? I shouldn't care about your edges more, okay? Care about your edges. And Gigi said commercial. Thank you, Tracy Ann. Tracy Ann said, you got that oil energy. <laughs> I sure do. I had I had that glow butter on my uh on my hands. <laughs> she said, go for Jesus. Yes, I am goping for Jesus. I am. I am goping for Jesus. And thank you, Tracy Ann, for posting that link for the hair appointments. I appreciate that. And then LA Will is in the building hey la thank you so much for joining this live stream i appreciate you uh tracy ann said goat for jesus let's go ahead and take another goat mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. tracy ann said she is glad saxon is healed and feeling better well praise god for that and then we got mr rita in the building she is coming back for round two well she just coming back to the, to the live Thank you so much for joining. She said, good evening, ladies. Okay. So we have greeted everybody who's in the chat as of right now. So we're going to go ahead and get started with the topic tonight. And as y'all can see, I'm going to give y'all five reasons on why your edge is not growing back. Okay. So this is going to set some people free. This is going to set some people free. I feel like somebody tonight is going to be set free and your edge is going to be restored. Okay. Lift up your hand. Go ahead. Lift, lift up your hands right now. I need me a white. Let me go ahead and get a white sheet of paper out this thing. Lift up your hands. I got me a white sheet. A literally a white sheet. Lift up your hands. If your edges need delivering, come on down to the altar. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got to stop doing that because it seems like now every time I go to church, I always hear, yeah, 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 yeah. And see, I can't get in the spirit. <laughs> I be about to laugh. <laughs> okay, so if you're just watching for the first time, you don't know, I love to make these live streams interactive. So I got five of them. So if y'all ready for the first tip, um, why your edges ain't growing back, go ahead and put in the one chat. 
go ahead and put number one in the chat. Put a number one in the chat. I'm going to give you all the first reason. Um, we are in the year of our Lord, 2023, and there is no reason why women should be around here walking with no edges. There's, there's absolutely not. We have to cut that out. Ladies, y'all have to start caring about y'all edges. Some of y'all going to be single to Jesus come back if y'all if y'all don't care about your edges now. Grow your edges back. Then that can be some of y'all hold on why you ain't got no man. <laughs> I just play it with you. I'm really not. I'm really not. I'm really not. Grow your edges back. Okay. So I wrote down some bullet points. So the first reason why your edges might not be grown back dun, 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 is them weeds. Them weeds, sis. It's them weeds. I sis, I'm trying to tell you it's them weeds. Them weeds is taking your hair slam at. You hear me? I mean slam at them weeds. Now, this not might this tip might not apply to everybody, but I seen some women. You keep putting on these wigs, and the more you keep putting on these wigs, them edges ain't gonna come back. Them edges ain't gonna come back. And see, this is this is the reason why. Now, you put on these wigs, you put in glue all on your edges. You have that glue on your edges, and sometimes that glue ain't good for you. If you're starting to see that your edges are thinning, you need to leave that glue alone, okay? Not only is the glue taking your edges out, but also those little combs sometimes. Those little combs that go inside the wig, oh, they're pulling your edges slam at. Slam at. And if your edges are already dry and you keep reapplying this glue, y'all trying to wear the lace front, y'all trying to gel the baby hairs down to eternity, it's taking your hair slam at. So that's one of the reasons why your edges can't grow back. You need to turn that wig over to Jesus. Just turn it over to Jesus. I'm Turn that wig over to Jesus and embrace your natural hair. Okay, turn it over. Turn the wig over. Turn the glue over. Turn it over to Jesus. Because he's going to work it out. He's going to work it out. Now, they'll probably set just one person free. And if and if there just be one tonight, if there just be one that be set free tonight, my job is done. My job is done. <laughs> my job is done. So y'all have to be careful with wearing these wigs all the time. And if you're a bit wig wearer, I would encourage you to switch it up sometime. Don't always wear the wigs. And don't always wear the wigs glued down. They have glueless wigs now. They have the, um, what do you call those things where they put, I forgot what it's called. I can't think of it, but it's on Amazon where you don't have to use uh, combs or um, a wig. Is it wig grip? Let me, is it wig gripper? I can't remember. Wig grip or something, but you can Basically, it's like a little Velcro thing and you just snap the wig on. You can try other alternatives. And this is what I'm going to say. If you can wear the wigs, number one, make sure you're taking a break. So if you're wearing a wig that don't have, uh, that is a glueless wig, make sure if you're not out and about and you at home, take that wig off. Let your hair breathe. If you're just around the house, you ain't doing it, take it off. I understand some of y'all might be working from home and you might have Zoom meetings. Okay, I understand you got to slap it on for a meeting. But if you ain't in a meeting and you don't have to be on camera, you at home, take the wig off. Let your hair breathe. And while your wig is off, you need to be moisturizing your edges, okay? You need to be making sure them edges stay moist. <laughs> make sure them edges stay moist. Make sure they stay moisturized, okay? Because when your edges are dry and you keep reapplying these wigs, the wigs dry your hair out. And when the wigs dry your edges out, they're prone to breakage. They're prone to breakage. And so that glue ain't a good thing. Now, if you're going to do the glue, you need to, if you're going to glue your wig down, and when it's time to remove that wig, don't just be snatching it off. Don't just be snatching it off. Make sure you remove that wig the right way. They got glue remover where you can use that. But I'm just not a big fan of putting all that glue and all that stuff on your hair. If you can help it, if you can go... Do, do the glueless ones if you can help it. But I'm saying some of y'all want to glue them down so y'all can slay your baby edges and do all that. But I'm just saying, take a break. Take a break, sis. Let them edges breathe. Let them, let them breathe, okay? Let them breathe. So the, did that make sense for y'all? That was the first tip. Y'all go ahead and put number two in the chat. All right? 
<laughs> Gigi said, tell them edges to repent. <laughs> okay, so Tracy Ann got a, a question. She said, I don't do this, but I see some women who wear baseball caps a lot. Will that wear the edges out? Yes, the ba baseball caps can wear the edges out a little bit, especially like if, if you already dealing with that, um, like with thin and dry edges. And so those baseball caps, a lot of times are either polyester based or cotton based. And if that's constantly run up, rubbing, get your, rubbing up against your edges a lot, yes, that can um, take your edges out or stop them from growing. So now they didn't got so fancy. It's so many black owned uh, companies now where they have set and lined baseball caps. So I would encourage you to invest in the set and line baseball caps. So if you're the type of person where you like to wear caps all the time, get something that's set in line. So it's silk. So it's rubbed up against and it's not drying your edges out. So the, Tracy Ann, that was a good question. Thank you for uh, posting that. All right. Gigi said Jesus will work it out. <laughs> Yes, turn that wig over to the Lord so the Lord can work it out. <laughs> Tracy Ann said, I don't wear a wig at all. I I don't wear a wig all day for a man. He needs to love you first. <laughs> well, I understand some women are in the wig. Some women love wigs. Now, I'm not saying that you can't wear no wig because... But some people with their lifestyle that just works. Like they're like, Lisa, wigs are convenient for me. And that's totally fine. Because my sister, she has beautiful, long, natural hair. But my sister is part of the wig ministry. She is part of the wig ministry. Now, Leslie, if you're watching this, they're just for the upbuild of the kingdom. Now, my sister Edge just got snatched out. And I had to let her know. I said, sister, okay, keep on playing. Keep on playing with them wigs. Because my sister, that's convenient for her. She got five kids. So... It's easy for her to slap on the wig. She keep her hair braided down and she will get it washed every two weeks and take it down. But I was telling her that that glue was taking her, her edges out and all of that. And I was telling her in between wearing her wigs, give her hair a break. She got beautiful long natural hair, beautiful long, but it's convenient for her. So it's no shame in wearing wigs. If you want to wear a wig, do it. If that's convenient for you, but just make sure you're using precautions. And if you're starting to see that the wigs is damaging your hair, that's a sign. You need to take a break. You need to take a break. Okay. So yeah, hope that helped. All right. Dr. Roy Anissa is in the building. Hey, Dr. Roy Anissa. Thank you so much for joining. And she said, it's time for me to retire my wigs. <laughs> well, that, if that's what you feel like you need to do, Dr. Roy Anissa, let the Lord move. Let the Lord move. Dr. Roy needs to lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Because it sounds like somebody get her to deliver. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. <laughs> sounds like somebody getting them a deliverance, honey. Sounds like somebody is getting them a deliverance. Okay. So, um, Tracy Ann said, I see set in line everything now. Especially the set in line beanies. Yeah. It, now, we done came a long way. They have set in line beanies, caps, everything. So, there's no excuse why... Um, you should be wearing like these hats and stuff without anything. And plus, even if you don't have, even if you don't have a set in line beanie and stuff back in the day, I used to just put like a bonnet up under mine. So it wasn't just rubbing up against and then put my beanie on top. So there's no excuse. Okay. So, oh, okay. So they didn't put number, number two in the chat. So the second reason why your edge is not growing back is them tight braids. Them tight braids. Now, I now look, I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all got to stop wearing these tight braids. I don't know how many times I got to say it. And I had a client. Now, God bless her. She see this. She came in the other day. I ain't seen in a couple of months. So, you know, I got to talk my trash. <laughs> and she wanted crochet braids. And I was like, okay, okay. But she wanted, normally sometimes we do like, she get the crochet spring twist. And sometimes we'll do individuals in the front. And so she was like, um, Lisa, I want to do the crochet and I want to do the two rows of individuals in the front. So I was like, okay, cool. But when I got ready to wash her hair, because I ain't seen a couple months, I said, sister, them edges, the way how them edges set up, you ain't getting individuals today. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Now, she had been going to somebody else and she'd been doing like the individual 
uh, twist braids all over her head. But whoever, oh yeah, she had been doing the twist braids all over her head, but they don't snatch her edges, slam out, slam out. I said, no, no, we can't do that today because your edges ain't up to par. Your edges ain't where it need to be. I said, you've been wearing a little bit too much tight braid because she said she had been wearing the twist braids back to back and a sew-in. And the lady who was braiding her sew-in down was braiding it tight. That's too much. And I said, and then I told her, I said, then you had nerve to come here and ask for some individual braids. And she just started laughing. It was all, she just started laughing. She said, I know, Lisa, I know. Yeah, I got to whip them into shape. Now, you know good and well, you only know individual braids. So, these tight braids going to take your hair slim out. Now, look now. Now, look. Y'all got to stop it. Y'all got to stop with these tight braids. I know y'all be wanting to look good and y'all want to last, but your braids can still look good and not get, be giving y'all an eyebrow arch, Okay. If you want your eyebrows art, just go get them threaded. Go get them waxed. You don't have to get tight braids to have a facelift. Okay, just go get a real facelift. <laughs> but no, just go get your own eyebrows arch. Go get your own eyebrows arch. Stop with these tight braids. And, and here's the thing. If you if you feel like the braid is too tight, tell the stylist like, hey, that's too tight. That feel too tight. I know y'all be wanting to look good, but... She can loosen up a little bit. And some of y'all are like, well, I want my braids to last. Do you want edges or no? Do you want edges or no? Do you care about your edges or no? That's what I want to know. Because we have to remember health over the style. Yes, it might look good, but pulling that hair too tight. When it's time to take out them braids. May the odds be forever in your favor because you ain't going to have none. You ain't going to have none. So take them tight braids out. If the braids feel tight, you need to remove them or tell the stylist, hey, can you redo this but not make it so tight? And I know someone like, well, if I don't braid it tight enough, come on now, y'all. Care about your edges. And here's what I'm going to say, too. When y'all doing these braids, don't be doing braids back to back. Like, please stop doing this. Stop taking out these tight braids. Okay, so say you done got you some box braids. They're real tight, but you you sticking through it. I'm That's my style, and I'm going to stick beside her. Y'all be sticking beside her and keep the tight braids. Y'all wear the braids. First of all, y'all wear the braids about when Jesus want to come back. Y'all think y'all trying to keep the braids so long, first of all. That's a no-no. So you mess around, keep the braids three months. You take the braids out on Monday night, and then you turn around on Tuesday morning and get another set of braids. You ain't had time to heal. Your edges ain't had time to heal. You jump out of one relationship and get to the next relationship. That's why you can't heal. That's why your edges can't grow. Because you keep jumping from relationship to relationship. Oh, yeah, I took it to another route. That's why you can't heal. You need to take time to heal. Go to Coach Sheena Page. You can heal. Go to Coach Sheena. Go to Coach Sheena. She gonna show you how to heal from the unhealthy relationship. And go ahead. And now I went ahead and plug Coach Sheena. Coach Sheena, when you watch this, send me a check. <laughs> bit sis, bit sis, Coach Sheena. When you watch this, send me a check. <laughs> So when you're wearing these tight braids, make sure that you let your hair breathe in between. Don't come out one sew in and put another sew in with tight braids. Let that hair breathe. Wear your natural hair, okay? Now, if y'all do me a favor now, come on now. We got six people watching, only three people like. Y'all see how y'all do me? Y'all don't do me right. You see? Y'all don't do me right. Y'all don't do me right. <laughs> But it's all good. So I hope that was number two was wearing a tight braid. So I hope that resonated with somebody. Okay. All right. Tracy Ann said, not me. I've never worn a wig. My niece wears wigs 24-7. She isn't sleeping one, no cap. And that's another thing. Don't sleep in the wigs. Why are you sleeping in the wig? Oh, y'all trying to look cute for y'all, boo. Oh, yeah. Y'all trying to look cute for y'all, boo. Why you, sis, take that wig off when you go to sleep. That That's the worst thing you can do. 
and you wearing it all day, you need to put it on your satin cap. Satin cap. Satin cap, okay? Satin cap. All right. Now, let's see. All right. Hang. Hang them styrofoam head and lay them to rest. <laughs> yeah, you can get you a little styrofoam um, little head and put the, and put the wig on there. All right. Tracy Ann said all stylists don't care about your edges. They don't. Most stylists care about getting that check. Okay. Run me my money. That's what they care about. Run them their money. All right. Miss Doretha said, when I was younger, my sister braided my hair so tight that my face looked like I had a facelift. And I said, never again. Yes. Yes. So Miss Doretha, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Them braids be so tight. And you can't sleep. You done took Tylenol. You done went and took a shower and let the steam get on it. Nothing works. And, and sometimes, like, this will happen, too. The braids might not feel tight when you put them in. But it's like as the as the uh, night comes, it's like they get tighter. That has happened, too. That has happened, too. Because that happened to me before. Oh, Dorita said, I was popping Tylenol for days. Yeah, that's a terrible feeling. Y'all gonna have put number three in the chat. Now, why is it only two lights up here? Y'all, y'all doing me dirty tonight now. Now, y'all doing me dirty. Y'all doing me dirty. <laughs> but it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. I see how we do. Because I thought we was in a relationship. I thought we had a thing going on. I thought we had a thing. I thought we had a thing. I get up here and make y'all kiki. I see how it is. I see how it is. Yeah, I'm a little tight about them lights tonight. Yeah, I'm a tight. I'm tight. <laughs> okay, so Dr. Ray Nisa said, if you go in for braids and come out for a free free facelift, your braids are too tight. Yes, Dr. Ray Nisa. Yes, yes, they too tight. Tracy Ann said, I got braids twice in my life. The second time and last time I got braided. They were so tight, you could see the, oh, yeah, you could see the white bulb being pulled out from the pores i haven't had braids since i can't do it now that's a terrible feeling tracy and that's oh we i've been there and then you get the little um bumps in the back oh that's terrible that's terrible yeah that little white bulb coming out oh that's coming from your scalp because y'all know we talked about the difference between um if it's shedding or if it's breakage and i talked about if it has a white bulb on the end, that means it came from your scalp. But if it has two black bulbs, then it means it's breakage. So just a little bonus to put y'all on. Okay, now thank y'all for liking the video. See y'all, see y'all doing me right. Thank y'all for liking. I appreciate it. All right. So did y'all put? Okay, Mister Rita to put a uh, number three in the chat. All right, Tracy and said one of my one of the lights is mine. Hit the like button. Okay, thank you, Tracy and thank you for everybody who hit the like button. I'm gonna leave y'all alone. Okay. All right, so the third reason, here's the third reason why your edge is not growing back that some people might not even realize is tight scarves and bonnets, tight scarves and bonnets. And this is important because you think you're doing something because you're tying your hair up every night, but sis, you need to loosen that, you need to loosen that scarf a little bit now. You need to loosen that scarf just a little bit because that scarf a little too tight. So when you go in and you tie that scarf right there, you need to loosen that scarf up because that's, that's too tight, okay? Can't no circulation get to them edges. You have no circulation right there. So you need to loosen up that scarf a little bit. Loosen up that scarf. Don't be tying that scarf so tight, all right? And the other thing I was going to say is bonnets. Some of these bonnets are taking your edges out, and I'm going to display some of these bonnets have that elastic white band inside. So sometimes it's supposed to be in the inside of the, um, what do you call that? The, the band or the silk band. But sometimes they're making some of these bonnets. Like, for example, I'm going to show you something. Now, don't y'all laugh at Abina hair. Oh, Abina still got the slit down. Okay. Y'all remember we did Abina hair and the slit down? Look, her hair is still slit down. You hear me? Ow. Go, Abina. So y'all know inside some bonnets, they have like, my bonnets don't have that. So this is a shameless plug. But inside some bonnets, they have like this white, 
little elastic thing, if y'all know what I mean. That little white part, that elastic thing, with that rubbing up against your edges, that's going to dry it out. But my bonnets don't have that, okay? My bonnets don't have that, as you can see. It's nothing but satin right there. So, you might be wearing that bonnet, but that little piece keep rubbing up against your edges. And that elastic is drying your edges out, which essentially takes your edges out. So, the bonnet is stopping your hair from growing. Yes, I know. So, that's why you have to invest in a... Lisa Smiles bonnet, okay, where we have the Y adjustable band, and this ain't going to take your edges out. Now, now yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put, uh, one thing I am going to do on my channel is we're going to get us an ad in. Oh, yeah, free ad. Come on, somebody. So, yeah, invest in you a bonnet like this uh, where it won't take your edges out. So, that's the third tip. That's the third tip. Tight scarves and bonnets. So let's put Abina's bonnet back on. Let's put Abina's bonnet back on. Okay. Y'all put a number four in the chat. Y'all put a number four. We're on the fourth tip. Okay. And so we got the Lisa Smiles. Go on ahead, Abina, with her bonnet. Super cute. Get you one. Link in the description box. Okay. So... All right, so y'all got number four. Y'all ready for the fourth tip? Okay, the fourth reason why your edges ain't growing bad. Y'all ready? The fourth reason why your edges ain't growing bad is because you have a poor diet. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You have a poor diet. You got to clean that diet up, sis. Y'all know. I know you got to clean that diet up. You got to change what you're eating. You got to put some good stuff in your body. You got to be drinking your water first of all. You need to be drinking enough water. You need to be getting you some good vegetables in you, some good fiber in you, some good vitamin D, E, A, E, E, F, G in you. Okay. You need to be taking you some um, hair supplements. You know what? I need to find if I can get me a sponsorship with one of some of these hair vitamins. Well, I'll start having y'all going out here buy stuff because ain't nobody giving me a check. Ain't nobody giving me no check. Okay? But you need to get you some good old hair vitamins. All right? So, when you start to clean that diet up and get some good things in your diet, meaning you're drinking your water, enough water, and I, coffee don't count. Coffee don't count. Okay? Coffee, it actually costs you more water when you drink coffee because coffee will dry you slam mat. Okay? Coffee gonna dry you slam out. So, and some of y'all say, but I put water in my tea that don't count. That don't count. You need to be drinking pure water. Water, 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 water. Okay. Not put in now. If you want to put a fresh lemon in it, okay. If you want to put fresh, fresh fruit that God made or fresh vegetables that God made in your water, okay, good. But Put in like the little um, crystal like things in it and the uh, stuff you squeeze. No, no, that don't count. No, y'all. No, no, no. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. No. Pure water. And don't get on my channel saying you don't like water. You don't like the taste of water. Most of our body is made up of water. What do you mean you don't like water? That's that's the media that made you feel like that you don't like water. We we are made. I think ain't our body made up of ninety eight percent water. So you need to be drinking water. Yes, per water sometimes. If you want to put lemon in it, cool. But it need to be stuff that came from God that you put in your water, not this man made sugary stuff and trying to make it sweet. That don't count. That don't count. Per water, not coffee, not tea. Water. Okay, it's gonna benefit you. And also, vegetables, okay? Vegetables and use some good lean protein. If you're vegan, then nuts, you know, whatever. You know how vegans, y'all know how y'all get your protein. Nuts and it's vegetables that got protein in it. So, yeah, good balanced diet. And then on top of that, a hair vitamin, a hair vitamin. That's the reason why some of y'all ages ain't growing back because you don't want to clean up your diet. 
I'm just putting it out there. And we have to remember that we are what we eat. So whatever we're ingesting in our body, it shows in our skin, our nails, and our hair. Okay? It's going to tell us the truth. It's going to tell us the truth. And I'm almost guaranteeing that if you clean up your diet, you will see a difference. You will see a difference. Okay? So y'all put number five in the chat. Mr. Tony Gaskins is in the building tonight. <laughs> Tony Gas, Mr. Tony Gaskins said, we got to get them edges together. Y'all heard them get them edges together, y'all. Get them together. Get them edges together. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining. Look, I'm over here spitting. <laughs> I am over here spitting. So look, y'all get them edges together. But Tony Gasses, I appreciate you stopping by. I don't know to do it myself. In case you get the white sheet, lay me at. <laughs> Put me at the altar. <laughs> Put me at the altar. <laughs> so y'all welcome Mr. Tony Gasses. He that came by and blessed our presence. Well, I appreciate you. I know you got to go. But I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Now I got off topic now. Now I can't get my words together. But let, let's get it together, Lisa. Let's stay on task. Did y'all put number five in the chat? Did y'all put number five in the chat? Okay, y'all did. Okay, so the fifth reason on why your edges ain't growing back is because you ain't got no hair routine. You ain't got no healthy hair routine. You ain't got no healthy hair routine. Now, I talked about this before on my channel, how you need to have a hair care routine. You need to have your hair care routine. You just can't be out here willy-nilly with your hair. You can't be out here willy-nilly. You need to have your routine of things that you do. You need to have a, a, a shampoo day. What days do you shampoo your hair? And you do your treatments. You got to have a whole system, okay? You got to have a whole system. You can't just be out here... Oh, I guess I washed my hair today. Oh, I get no, no. Have a whole system. Have a whole routine. When you would shampoo your hair, when you condition your hair, when you when you get a protein treatment, trims, massaging your edges. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give y'all a bonus tonight. I'm gonna give y'all a bonus. Y'all go ahead and put bonus in the chat. Yeah, I'm gonna give y'all a bonus in the chat. Put bonus in the chat. I actually. I got two bonuses for y'all. So y'all put bonus. Bonus number one in the chat. Okay. Dr. Rory Nisa said, put, put on a t-shirt, Lisa. Encourage your edges. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Encourage your ed edges. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, Acacia is in the building. Hey, Acacia. I go, Acacia. Uh, hey, Acacia. I go, Acacia. <laughs> Thank you for joining Acacia. All right, so here's the bonus. If you're trying to get them edges to grow back, if you're trying to get those edges to grow back, you need to be massaging them edges, okay? You need to fall onto the everlasting arms of God. You know, and look, this is a game. Go get you some olive oil from your pastor. Have that pastor pray over that olive oil. You hear me? Have that pastor send hair growth to that olive oil. Now, look, I'm telling you, it's a lot of women out here selling hair growth oil saying, oh, this can grow your hair back. It's not. They're lying to y'all. Okay? I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm going to tell you, get that pastor pray over that oil. Now, it say it got 32 people watching. Now, I know they lying. I know 30 people ain't watching this. I know 30 people are. But if 30 people are watching, God bless y'all. God bless y'all because y'all came on the right night to grow y'all edges back. So, have that pastor pray over that olive oil and you anoint your head and you massage your edges every night. Massage your edges every night. Now, you got to believe in the power of prayer. You got to believe it now. You got to believe it. You got to believe in the power of prayer. You got to believe it. You got to be massaging them edges. And see, look, the reason why you need to massage them edges is because when you get to massaging those edges, that blood get to flowing. When that blood get to flowing, guess what? There's healing power. Look, there's power in the blood. Ooh! Where my tambourine? 
There is power in the blood. Come on. There is. And it reaches to the highest mountain. Come on, sing with me. And it flows. Now, look, there is healing in the power of blood. Okay. So what I'm saying, y'all, now I'm, I'm goofing off. I know I'm, I'm, I'm goofing off. So when that blood get to flowing, it's going to activate those hair follicles. And then that means your hair going to grow. That means your edges is going to come back. Now, that, that's a bonus. That's a bonus for y'all. Okay. That's a bonus. That's a bonus. Now, bonus number two is, bonus number two is, you need to get that rosemary spray. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and look on my community page. I have a post where I show the before and after of my client using the rosemary system. How, how her hair looked before and how her hair looked after. Okay? That rosemary will get that blood flowing. Get them edges stimulated. See, y'all need some stimulation in your life. Y'all need to be stimulated. See, y'all being stimulated the wrong way. Y'all being stimulated by a dangling. And you don't need to be stimulated by a dangling. Now, look, I'm keeping it 1,000 on my channel. Now, look. Now, look, the word got to go out. The word got to go out. Now, look, if you got your kids watching, I'm sorry that you might have to do some explaining. But some of y'all being stimulated by a dangling. And you need to be stimulated by the rosemary spray. Okay? Okay? We just keep it real. Okay? So that rosemary is going to stimulate the scalp. And the reason why your scalp needs to be stim stimulated so that blood can get the flowing. And so your edges can grow back. And that was bonus number two. Okay? So I got a lot of people in here tonight. I'm shocked. Okay, shifting mindsets with Shawnee is in the building. Hey, Shawnee, thank you so much for joining. I ain't seen you in a while. Dublin, y'all, Dublin girl that made her live stream. Pr can we praise God? Thank Dublin girl, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for joining. Okay, Tracy Ann said, massage your edges for hair growth. Yeah, scalp massages work scalp massages work so you want to do those scalp massages do those scalp massages okay all right vanessa is in the building hey miss vanessa thank you so much for joining um dublin girl said you miss tony gaskins yes tony gaskins stopped by your girl live stream <laughs> brother tony gaskins now i'm gonna have to say this live stream because I about got unfocused because Tony Gaskins joined my live stream. Tony Gaskins joined. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. <laughs> now, God is good. God is good. Um, So, we sending blessings to Tony Gaskins, okay? All right. Let's see who else. Gigi said, to the lowest mountain. So, Gigi was over here singing with me. <laughs> I called Tony a while ago. He was in his car. Yeah, I still had to go back and watch that video. All right, the world famous glow butter. Okay. So now I got one last bonus for y'all, and then we're going to go ahead and go on about our business. Okay. I got one last bonus. So y'all put bonus number three. <laughs> Here's the last reason why your edges ain't growing bad. Put number three in the chat. Put bonus number three in the chat. This is going to be the last one. And if y'all have questions after this, y'all can go ahead and drop your questions in the chat. And I'll go ahead and take some questions because we'll have a few minutes. Oh, Tony came on here too. Yes, brother Tony came in the chat tonight. He said, look, we trying to save these edges now. In my Tony Gaskins accent voice. Now, we trying to save them edges now. Okay, so bonus number three, the third reason. Why your edges ain't growing back? Now, if you're new to my channel, this might not make sense, but it might give you a good laugh. But those who've been watching my channel, oh, y'all gonna get this. Y'all gonna feel this. Third reason why your edges ain't growing back. Let me get close. <laughs> it's because you're not seeing a hair care professional. You're not seeing a hair care professional. And yes, I'm shaking my hair like that. 
I can shape my hair like that because I got edges, okay? You need to make sure the person who you're going to got edges. See, that's what got some of y'all in the stronghold because y'all going to these girls who you can't even see their edges. You, If you can't see that hairstylist edges, you don't need to be going there. If they edges ain't set up the right way, you don't need to be going there. If you have never seen this hairstylist, natural hair, flowing, beautiful, she got edges, you don't need to be going there. And you wonder why your edges don't grow back. You keep going to Africana up the street. Now, she can slay a braid. God bless her. She can slay a braid, but she ain't got no edges. And you sitting up in her chair. Now, look, this is deeper than hair. This is deeper than hair. You got to be careful who touching your head, okay? You got to be careful. Now, if she can't grow your edges back, she can't speak life into you. You need to go to somebody who's going to speak life. So if you're not in the Raleigh area and you, you can't come see me, you can book you a hair coaching session, okay? I, you can book you a hair coaching session with me, the hair care professional. Now, you look, you can go on my page and scroll. You see, I got edges, okay? I done cut my hair off. I done grew it back. I got edges. One thing about Lisa is I'm going to grow some hair. Oh, and I'm going to grow a plant. Now, if I can grow plants, I can grow your hair. I ain't capping. Go check out the Instagram. I ain't capping. Go check out the Instagram. That's all I'm saying. But you can put you a one-on-one -on -one hair coaching call, and I can give you a personalized plan. I can show you exactly what you need to be doing to grow your hair. Now, I didn't give y'all five tips, and some of y'all is like, I don't know, Lisa. I don't know if that's going to work. I need something personalized. Well, look, you can book you a hair coaching session where I can personalize your treatment and show you exactly what you need to do. Some of my clients, one client, can you not, she was suffering with alopecia. I put her on a strict hair plan. She done got COVID. Her hair done fell out, grew it back. I ain't lying. I ain't capping. I ain't capping for y'all. Go, go go look at the YouTubes. Go look at the Instagram. So that's the bonus number three. You need to go see a hair care professional around. Somebody who know what they're doing, who can grow your hair back, and who can speak life into you. And look, here on my channel, you will get now look, you gonna get you a good kiki in. You can get that word up in, and we're gonna get your natural hair together. That's what you're gonna get. You're gonna get kikis, okay? I'm the hair evangelist. We're here on my channel. I use my gift of doing your hair. To make you kiki. And so God can reach your soul. Cut, cut. <laughs> so I hope this live stream resonated with somebody. I, I hope it really resonated with somebody. And I hope that y'all edges are able to grow back. And, and I just want y'all to know. There is healing power. On this channel. And I'm going to get your edges to grow back. I'm going to get your natural hair flourishing. Okay. I'm going to get your natural hair flourishing. So. I hope this blessed somebody tonight and somebody must have shared my video because it is 30 people up in here. Now look how the Lord worked because I was sitting up here complaining about now. Now Lord forgive me. Lord forgive me. Cause I was here complaining like, man, I got what? 10 people watching and only two likes. I'm like, come on now. Come on now. Now I don't holly at y'all for likes. And God then did a seatly and bluntly more than I can ask for tonight. Acacia laid me out. Acacia, the word been, Acacia, the word been flowing. Acacia, the word, been, Acacia, the word been flowing all night, Acacia, all day. Acacia, you already know, because that live stream that I did earlier today, oh, the spirit was on me. Oh, the, the spirit was on me. The spirit was on me. If y'all missed that live stream that I did earlier today, I do walk with me's. And so on that walk with me, I was sharing about um, how you need to stir up the gift that God has put inside of you. That live stream, I had to go back and listen to it to myself because sometimes I want to. I had to hear my own self speak life into myself. Sometimes you got to encourage yourself. Sometimes you can't wait for somebody else to affirm you. Oh, Y'all, I feel like shouting. You cannot wait. For other people to affirm you, you got to speak life into yourself. My God, I got to put the hair up. I put the hair up because I feel like when I get off here, we about to have praise and worship right here in this house by myself. You hear me? <laughs>
Okay? Okay. Oh, Tracy Ann, Tony shared your live on his community page. I, I, let me at the all. <laughs> Y'all know I ain't got no sense. Y'all lay me at the altar tonight. Y'all lay me at the altar. Coach Sheena, I need my back rub. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, lay me out at the altar because now, Mr. Tony Gaskins, now you just showing out today. Mr. Tony, Brother Tony, that's why I call him Brother. Now, Brother Tony, now you showing out today. You showing out. Now, now, God bless you, my brother. Now, God, now let's see. God bless you, my brother. God bless you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you, Mr. Tony Gaskins. Woo! Jesus. Okay. So we got a question. We got a question. Okay. If y'all got a question, put it in the chat. My God is good. God is good. <laughs> okay. Don got a question. She said, I need to get back to massaging my scalp. How many minutes? Five minutes. That's all it takes. Don, massage your scalp five minutes a day. Go from there. Start small. Five minutes a day. And if you have kids or a hubby, get them to do it. But when you massage your scalp, Don, make sure you don't just do it with dry hands, okay? Make sure you got some oil on your hands or that rosemary spray. The link is in the description box for rosemary spray. You don't want to massage them while they dry because if you put in, uh, using that dry hands on your edges, it's going to make it worse. So make sure them hands, them fingers are moist. From oil. From oil. Make sure them fingers are moist from oil or the stimulating spray. They get your mind out the gutter. You need to be delivered. You got a Jezebel spirit on you. Jezebel spirit. Jezebel spirit. Be ye set free. Lift up your hands right now. Lift up your hands. Get your mind out the gutter. Get your mind out the gutter. Get your mind out the gutter. We be, we're going to be set free this year from that nasty, that nasty spirit. <laughs> <laughs> okay we got Qu Quora is in the building thank you so much for joining thank you so much for joining okay Acacia said let him use you Lisa oh yeah he using little Lisa today he, lo he losing using little Lisa today okay Tony G in the blessed the blessed tribe done came in the blessed tribe Tony Gaskin share something beautiful with y'all tonight now I'm gonna toot my own horn now toot toot <laughs> Because y'all in for a treat. Y'all in for a treat. If you came up from the Blessed Tribe, oh, y'all in for a treat. Y'all in for some kikis. Now, I'm going to get that word opinion now. I'm going to get that word opinion. Y'all in for some kikis and we're going to get that natural hair together. Okay, so y'all in at the right place. Okay, I appreciate it. Okay, stir up the give. All right, Acacia, do we have any more questions before we go? Dublin girl says she just came back from Baltimore, so I would check out your last video. Oh, yeah, it's it's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. All right. Hello. Lisa H is in the building. Hey, Lisa H. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for joining. All right. Oh, Tony said you're trying to help us with our edges. Yes, yes. I'm trying to help the people with their edges, okay? I shouldn't be the only one out here with edges. We should be. It's 2023. And pasting on edges, um, drawing on edges, it's time It's time out for all of that. We got to get real edges in 2023, okay? You need to find somebody who care about your edges in 2023, okay? Care about your edges in 2023, okay? Take them braids out. It's a new year. You don't, You got them braids Thanksgiving. Take them out, sis. I, I'm here to take, yeah, take them out. Take them braids out. Don't put no sewing so, so in. No, take off the wig. Yes, I'm talking to you. Yes, you, you, yeah, take it off. And if you take off the wig, don't turn around and glue another one back on. I'm telling you, love your natural hair. Love who you are. If you don't know how to do your natural hair, keep following the page. I got videos on how to do your natural hair, okay? Keep, stop trying to keep these braids until the Lord come back. 
The Lord is going to move in your life if you trust him. The Lord is going to make a way for you to get another win. The Lord is going to make a way for you to get them braids again. He going to make a way. Take the braids out and care for your natural hair. He going to make a way. If the Lord made a way for you to get that sew in. If the Lord made a way for you to get them box braids. The Lord can make a way for you to find you a hair care professional who can take care of your hair. Okay. Okay, period. Now, I had to put that out there because somebody, now, let there be one. Let this be an altar call. Will there be one tonight who's going to be set free from the weeds? Come on down to the altar right now. Come on down. Come on. Will, will there be one? Will there be one that say in 2023, no more weeds for me? Glory be to God. Now, I feel the spirit. I feel the spirit. Somebody going to be set free because I want you to know, and I'm going to get serious. I, I'm, I'm going to get deep on this. God wants you to know that you're beautiful and you don't need to wear no wig. You don't need to wear no wig for no man. You need to wear no wig for that corporate job that God going to elevate you. Mm. Come on, somebody. Now, somebody need to be elevated. You need to let go of the dead weight. You need to let go of the wig anyway. It's raggedy anyway. The wig is raggedy. It's crusty. Let go of the dead weight. Leave that in 2022 so God can elevate you. That was the, that was the Lord. I, I do not be rhyming. I do not be rhyming. I can't even say that again, but y'all caught that. Let it go. Let it go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let it go. This is also call. Let it go. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands right now. Let it go. Would there be one? I'm rubbing bats tonight. Coach, we need Coach Tina. Tracy Ann, we need the ushers. Let's rub bets. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let it go. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Call it out. Call it out. We calling out all the weeds. We calling out all the box braids. We calling out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a whole church service over here. Oh, that's how we get down. This is the Harry Evangelist. But, yeah, we got to call it out. And some of y'all can be set free. If you keep on watching this channel and you're not confident with wearing your natural hair, keep on watching this channel because you're going to be set free in 2023. I believe it. I feel it in my shana now. I feel it. I feel it that somebody will be set free. I already know. I already know you can be set free because you're laughing. And if you're laughing and you're wearing that crusty wig, I love you. I still love you. I still love you. I still love you. <laughs> now, I ain't got no sense. I ain't got no sense now, y'all. I'm going to cut up. I'm going to cut up. One thing about Lisa, I'm going to cut up. Okay. <laughs> All right, all right. Um, Acacia said the coconut milk line is available and she gave the link. Thank you, Acacia, for posting that link for the products. Do we have any more questions? Tracy Ann said massage your scalp five minutes a day for scalp stimulation and hair growth. Yep. All right, all right. Who else? Okay, we got Inspired SC uh, said he sure did. Well, thank you for coming on over. Inspired, I appreciate it. Leapy. Leap your child 72. Okay. She got a question said, what's a great moisturizer for loose natural hair? I need to bring my daughter for overall hair and repair. So a good moisturizer for a loose natural hair. So for loose natural hair. So you can use like a leave-in conditioner. Um, I have the honey almond leave-in conditioner. That's a good one. Also on my website, I have the moisture lock which is like, is like a good daily hair milk moisturizer so you can use it daily it don't cause buildup so i'm not sure how old your daughter is but it's good like if you want to slip back your her hair into like ponytails um or if maybe she wearing a twist out or a wash and go and she need like that extra moisture she can use that moisture lock and it's available on my website okay hope hopefully that answer your question Dorita say acacia does the coconut milk line come in a bundle Yes, the coconut milk line, um, Miss Doretha, it does come in a bundle. So for those who might not know, the bundles, which they're sold out, but you still can buy it separately. But on the bundles, you get the coconut milk shampoo, the conditioner, the leave-in conditioner, and the coconut milk styling foam. And you can use the coconut milk styling foam to do twist outs, wash and goes, flat twists. It's multi-purpose, okay? It's lightweight and it dries quick, all right? Shifting mindset. So Shani said, I have a good time every time I catch you live. Well, thank you so much for joining, Shani. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, uh, your girl Jay is in the building. She said she is here from the blessed tribe. Y'all blowing my mind tonight now. Now, y'all, now, Grandma Marie is smiling. Now, if y'all don't know, this is my uh, glow butter that I created after my grandmother. She is probably smiling down at, from heaven tonight. Okay, and Grandma Marie is probably laughing at me right now. I know she is. I know she is. That's my heart. Okay. All right. Any more questions? <laughs> LA said my twist, my twist done before t uh, Thanksgiving. <laughs> LA, you said you got your twist done before Thanksgiving. <laughs> okay. She said, but they still look good. Thanks to Lisa's phone. Okay, good. Yeah. So if you're wearing like braids, like box braids or, um, or cornrows and you know how you get like those flyaways you can use like a styling foam to smooth down the flyaways to help your braid keep your braids looking refreshed so um that's good la all right god love i know tracy Ann said love the edges god gave you yeah love the edges god gave you all right <clears throat> let me see let me let me see now i gotta drink some water now one thing i'm gonna drink my water Y'all drink y'all water too. And see, that's why y'all edges can't grow back. Because y'all don't drink no water. Drink your water. Let's all take a water break. Oh, y'all heard me gulping. Oh, I know. I know. Drink your water. Drink your water. So you can be hydrated. All right. Let's see. Who else had a question? All right. <laughs> Keisha laughing at the raggedy wig. Nina, oh, I thought it said Nina Westside, but it said Nina, Nia Whiteside. She is putting her hands up and she is laughing. So I hope you felt the spirit. <laughs> Brittany Marie King is in the building. She is over there. Kiki with a blue heart. Well, God bless you. I'm glad you, I'm glad y'all get y'all good laughing. Dr. Roy Anissa said, that's another t-shirt in 2023. Set your edges free. Somebody, somebody screenshot that and send that to me. Moderator, sc screenshot that. So, uh, I need to check. I need to check. Somebody screenshot that. <laughs> what Tony say? Send me a check. <laughs> <laughs> Your girl Jay said, thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Be set free in 2023. Uh, screenshot that, Acacia. We need to, we need to, we need somebody send us some checks off of that. <laughs> Okay, so LA said update. I have a video interview on Monday at 7 a.m. Thank you, ladies, for continuing to stand with me. Oh, praise God, LA. Oh, praise God. She was on our uh, live the other night um, sharing her testimony. So if y'all want to know LA will business, you got to go back and watch other videos. <laughs> now, I'm here to tell y'all, if y'all new watching this, if you put your business in the chat, it's everybody's business, okay? Now, I get pretty, I share my business, okay? This is a two-way relationship. I share my business. As y'all can see, y'all can go back and watch my old videos. I got story times where I tell all my business about my dating life. Y'all know my business. So, if you put your business in the chat, it's all our business. We're a family, okay? You part of the Smiles Tribe, okay? It's all our business now. <laughs> okay. All right. Any more questions? I like that idea, Tracy Ann. Good idea. All right. Leapy. Leap child year. Oh, she's 17. Okay, good. Okay, yeah, that should work with her. You're welcome. LaVon Patterson is here from the Blessed Tribe. Come on through, Blessed Tribe. Y'all clicked on the video, and I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all, okay? All right, Acacia said, come on in the room, and be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate it, okay? LaVon Patterson said, I have natural hair, and I don't really have a hair problems, but I do have a question. Yeah, go ahead and put um your hair question in the chat. Dorita said it's sold out. When will the bundle restock? I can restock them on Friday because my my connect, you know what I'm saying, my product guy, he come on Friday. So it'll be restocked on Friday, um, Miss Dorita. All right. Lavon said, what can I do to protect? Oh, it done scrolled up. Hold on now. Now, we, now, I'm going to have to get like Tony Gasses now. And if y'all got a question, put hashtag LS, which is Lisa Spouse. <laughs> okay, so LaVon said, I have natural hair. I really, okay, no, hold on. Where's the question? 
what can I do to protect my hair due to me using a flat iron every week? I pin curl to hold the hair each week. Now, LaVon, now you got natural hair and you slapping that flat on it every week. Now, be careful now, LaVon. Now, be careful now. Slapping that uh, flat iron. Now, I'm glad that you are using uh, the pin curl to hold it, but try to slide back on that flat iron a little bit. If you get tired of flat, um, doing the pin curls, do flexi rods. Do flexi rods. So do anything you can to keep less heat out heat. Now I am going to ask you another question: Are you um, shampooing your hair every week and then flat ironing it, or you just re flat iron it every week? Because that's going to be a game changer. Courtney Scott is in the building, saying, "Bless tribe in the building." God bless you, my sister. God bless you. Thank you so much for joining. Okay. All right. Now, y'all got the moderators working hard tonight. Now, look, look, look. <laughs> okay. Amanda said, Amanda Jackson is here from the Bless Tribe. I joined this live. I was just looking for some new natural hair products. Now, I'm about to fall out. Now, I'm about to fall out because, Amanda, you came to the right channel. You came to the right channel, so I got some good products. Now, the more and more you come on this channel, I don't want y'all just to be going just buying products because I said go buy it. I'm here to educate you on how to take care of your natural hair. So the more and more you go back and watch my videos, it'll kind of give you a guide on what you should be buying, okay? So um, just keep that in mind. So let me know what are you looking for as far as natural hair products. You're looking for shampoos, moistures, or how do you normally wear your hair? And what you're looking for, okay? LA say it takes a village. I'm an open book. Well, praise God. Praise God. Tracy Ann said, put hashtag LS before your question. Look at her. Look at her. I feel so special tonight. I feel so special that God, God is good. And the glory of the Lord is on this live stream. Okay. That's the glory of the Lord is on this live stream. All right. Um, okay, the read the set, okay. Uh, is it Shara Good Shara Son Goodness? Now, forgive me if I said your name wrong, but thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for joining. Um, Levon Patterson said I use castor oil as your moisturizer. Now, was you the one who just said you a flat ironer? Okay, yes, I shampoo and flat iron each week. Okay, good, cause that was my concern. I was hoping that um you wasn't like just re flat iron and dirty hair because that can give you heat damage a lot of people don't know that that can give you heat damage um and she said you use castor oil as your, as your moisturizer now lavon i'm gonna say be careful with that castor oil okay be careful because that castor oil it it is thick and sometimes using too much can cause build up build up so try not to overdo it with the castor oil okay all right. So, but the good thing is you shampoo every week, so you should be in the good. But now don't be now now Levon now now you knew so you don't know me so I'm gonna tread lightly. But I'm gonna just say Levon now don't be baptizing your hair in that oil now, cause y'all love oil now. Y'all love oil. Let me start. Let me start yelling at y'all, cause y'all do not know. Some of y'all do not know me. Let me be professional. Don't baptize that hair in that oil, okay? Don't don't baptize it, okay? <laughs> All right. Okay, Shara Son Goodness says she's joining from the Blessed Tribe. Well, God bless you. Thank you for joining. Okay, she said, I normally box my hair off into box my hair off Bantu knots. Okay. Bantu knots is a good protective style too. And then Bantu knots also give you like a nice little curl when you take them out. So I don't know what she was responding to. Cause she said she boxed her hair off into band two knots. So I must have hold on. Did she say did she say she looked for natural hair product? No, that was Amanda. Okay, I'm trying to keep up now. I'm trying to keep up. All right. Oh, now now Cheryl's son, God is to put her business in the chat. She she put her business in the chat. She said, but my edges have took a toll. I'ma change that name tonight. What? You know what? Well, lift up your hands because your edge is going to be set free tonight. Okay? You're going to be set free in 2023. Okay? You're going to be set free. All right? And, yeah, so, and that was one of my tips about getting your edges back. 
don't be don't be pulling don't be having no tight braids and stuff okay don't be be having no tight braids don't be having no tight braids courtney scott said look at god here to support from the blessed tribe didn't think i would actually need the info subscribe thank you for subscribing thank you for subscribing courtney and see that's why you have to be obedient and see that's why you can't be a hater that's why you can't be a hater because you don't know you don't know <laughs> you don't know how you're gonna get your blessing you don't know how you're gonna get your blessing look at courtney she decided to step out and she didn't think she'll need the information but she pressed in and, and the information is happening so god bless you courtney i'm glad you're here i'm glad you're here welcome to the smiles tribe okay all right, Divinity is in the building. Hey, Queen Divinity, shaking it on that damn float. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it on that damn float. Let me stop because my Jezebel spirit about to come out. <laughs> I just playing. I just playing. I just playing. I'm telling you, Divinity, that song make you want to shake, 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 shake. Do it on a damn float. Now y'all pray for me. Now y'all pray for me because I'm I'm still trying to. <laughs> y'all pray. Just playing. <laughs> okay. Tracy Ann said, thank you for subscribing. Yes. Ble Look, the Blessed Tribe. One thing about the Blessed Tribe. Now, y'all be coming on through, and I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all, okay? Okay, your girl Jay said, how often do you recommend... Ooh, hold on. Turn this heat down. It's getting hot up in here. Okay, your girl Jay said, how often do you recommend we wash our hair weekly? I think I may wash my hair too often. Okay, so Jay, this is a really good question. So how often you should shampoo your hair depends on what's going on with your hair. So if you dry, if your hair is crusty, if it's dry, you never can keep it moisturized good. You need to be washing, shampooing your hair a little bit more often. So some of my clients, we have like that very, very brittle hair. I put them on a plan where I do have them starting out washing their hair weekly to get their moisture levels up and once i start to see a, a change in their hair then i tell them they can go down to maybe uh, a week and a half and every two weeks some people are fine with shampooing their hair every two weeks but some people that might tend to suffer from dry scalp and dry hair you will need to shampoo a little bit more often now you have to be careful with this if you are shampooing every week you need to make sure you're using the right shampoo because if you're using shampoos that are they have a lot of sulfates in it and you shampoo it weekly, it is going to dry your hair out. Okay, it is going to dry your hair out. So make sure if you're doing it weekly that you're using a sulfate free shampoo, a moisturizing shampoo. Okay, so that was a really good question, Jade. Thank you for that. All right. Okay. Tracy Ann said, stay tuned and set your edges free. Okay, LaVon said, I have subscribed. I have subscribed. A woman's hair is her glory. You're doing the Lord's work. Sister, Sister LaVon, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you. Now, I ain't going to be able to sleep tonight. Now, y'all making me blush here on this Wednesday night. Now, I got to get up and do the Lord's work in the morning. But I'm, oh, God. And see, I wasn't going to even make a live stream tonight. I wasn't even going to make a live stream tonight. And you see how the Lord moves, and see the Lord will bless you in your obedience. See, it ain't about me. It ain't about me. It's about Jesus. See, you got to be willing to serve, Lalisa. Now it's 10, 29. You got to be willing to serve. So you can't be thinking about yourself. It's bigger than you, baby girl. The people need the hair tips. The people need the hair products, Lisa. But you got to be willing to serve. Come, rub my back. Rope my back. Now y'all gonna get. Now we're gonna get your natural hair together. But I'm gonna get that word up in you. Lalisa gonna get that word up in you. We're gonna get that word. And so, God said, "Be obedient and go live tonight." Because you know what was bothering me? My knees was bothering me. I said, "I don't want to go live tonight. My knees bothering me. I'm about to just chill. I'm about to cook this chicken Alfredo and call it night." I done gave them a live earlier today. I won't slam out. God said, no, he gave me a topic literally 20 minutes before I got up here. He said, five reasons to grow their edges back. And when God gave me a topic, I got to be obedient. I got to be obedient. 
And bam, look what happened. Tony Gasses that came up here and shared the live stream. Look how the Lord moved. See, you got to be obedient. Come on now. Come on now. You got to be obedient. You got to give. It doesn't matter. And then sometimes you get discouraged. And look at me. If y'all go back and watch the beginning of this one, I was kind of getting discouraged because I, I'm going to just, can I just be honest with y'all? And this is the unction of the spirit. Can I be honest with y'all? I done said, now, Lord, I always pray for my live stream. I said, now, Lord, you done had me come up here to share these live, th th these hair tips. I got eight people watching and only two people liking. And y'all can go back and see. Y'all can go back and see. I was like, dang, y'all can't like the video. Y'all see? Y'all see? I'm over there and in my head, I'm complaining like, well, Lord, I'm wasting my time. My knees. And then look how the Lord bless. Look, the, look what that happened. Look what the Lord has did. See, th I'm just a living testimony to show if you serve God, if you put him first and be obedient, he'll give you the desires of your heart. He will give you the desires of your heart. That's a blessing. That's a blessing. You got to be obedient to the unction of the spirit. And it ain't about you, Lisa. It ain't about you. Okay, it ain't about you. It's bigger than you. You could be the answer to somebody's prayers. Somebody might need to laugh tonight, Lisa. Somebody need to grow their edges back tonight, Lisa. Somebody need to hear an encouraging word tonight. But you think about yourself. It's bigger than you. And even about you having a YouTube channel. This can apply at work. This can apply at work. You don't want to be nice and open that door for the lady behind you. She can be depressed. But your smile can change her day. She might be going through a divorce. She might have just lost her child. But your smile can change today. God might be speaking to you to say, pay for her lunch today. But you're thinking like, well, God, all I got is $20 left. He said, be obedient. Ooh! Come on, somebody. Be obedient because you don't know how your blessing going to come. You don't know how your blessing going to come. Now, see, if I wouldn't went live tonight. Now, now I know the Lord works in mysterious ways. He still was in a blessing, but I need to do it tonight. I need to be obedient and do it tonight. <sighs> now, y'all, I feel them. I feel them. I feel them. Let's get back to the air question. <laughs> I feel them. <laughs> okay. Uh, Tracy Ann said that Vinny Tony Gaston stopped by the live and then posted Lisa live on the community page. And so that's another act of obedience. If I wouldn't have got up here, Tony wouldn't have shared the live. He wouldn't. Have. He wouldn't. Have. He wouldn't. Have. He wouldn't have had nothing to share. So I had to be obedient. Okay. I. I'm done. <laughs> No, I'm not. I ain't done. We ain't gonna quench your spirit tonight. We ain't gonna quench your spirit. We gonna we gonna answer every question. We ain't gonna quench your spirit tonight, okay? If he move, if he moving, he moving. Period. If the spirit is moving, he moving. Okay. So forget about yourself, Lisa. <laughs> okay, Davini said I'm working on getting my hair back healthy, and I like to wear head wraps daily, but don't sleep in them. Any recommendation on using head wraps? Yeah, okay, so if you like to wear head wraps, um, that's fine. But make sure if you're wearing the head wraps that you have like a set in line head wraps, okay? <laughs> make sure you have set in line head wraps. So you're not having those head wraps because sometimes those head wraps are like cotton and they're rubbing directly against your edges and your hair and it's drying your hair out. So make sure they're set in line, okay? So... Hopefully that answer your question. Shift in mindset switch, Shawnee. Okay. And take them head wraps off when you get home. Okay. Take them off. Take them off. If you're not on a Zoom meeting, take them off. Let that hair breathe. Y'all hair need to breathe now. Let that hair breathe. I know y'all trying to look cute for y'all, boo. But guess what? He's going to have to accept you. And you done found my page. So your edges are growing bad. You're going to get your confidence back. Take the head wraps off when you get home. Well, if you can do the head wraps, make sure they're set in line. Now, I need to find me a head wrap company so somebody can send me some checks. <laughs> you hear me? <sighs> um, 
Yes, Divinity, Sophia nailed it for me. Sister Sophia, we lift her up in prayer. Sister Sophia, if y'all watch my channel, on some of my videos, pre-recorded videos, I have a jingle at the end. And that is credit to the Debt Demolisher TV with Sophia Melody. She created my jingle, okay? She created the jingle. Now, look, don't y'all get over there and say, oh, create me a jingle. Sophia made these jingles off the unch of the spirit. And I was so blessed that she thought of my jingle. So, I got to get the credit to Sister Sophia. And she did uh, the Mindy's jingle, too, okay? So, it's on the unch of the spirit. These are a lot of comments. Okay, I'm trying to keep up, y'all. So, y'all forgive me now. Now, y'all forgive me. I'm going to get through it. I'm going to get through it. All right. All right. Uh, your girl, Jade, said, mine is brittle. Wow. So, every two or three days is too often. Oh, yeah, Jade. Every two or three days. Oh, they had moist. Now, you too moist over there. <laughs> now, you're probably drying it out, Jade. So, yeah. Every two days. Yeah, that's too often. That is too often. Girl, you scared me. Girl, you scared me. Jay said she want that hair to be moist. Sister. <laughs> Look, how, how Tony got to say it? Sister. Okay. Now, Jay, just once a week now. Once a week. You can either use um, the coconut milk. That's so fake free. It's on all these products on my website. You can either use the coconut milk, honey almond, or the organic line. Yeah, sister trying to stay moist. I mean, I get it, Jay, but my goodness. <laughs> How Tony Gaston say? He be like, my goodness. Boy, that man be having me laughing. You hear me? <laughs> that man be having me laughing. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, um, Shawnee Guess, I have a video on wearing head wraps. So if you go on YouTube and you put how to tie a hair wrap, and put Lisa Smiles, the video is going to come up. The video is going to come up. And I got a couple of videos. I show how you can tie a head wrap with full coverage. I show how you can tie a head wrap with some of your natural hair out. I got different ways on how to tie a head wrap. So I hope that helps. Okay. Yep. Lavender glow butter is good for helping you fall asleep. Yep. All right. Child, I'm glad I put on some lipstick tonight because I got about 36 people watching. Child, I'm glad I ain't just slapped something together tonight. See, now see, you got to be obedient. See, you see how Lord moves. <laughs> now, I'm not saying I be up here looking raggedy, but I'm just saying you got to make an effort, ladies. You got to be obedient to what the Holy Spirit is saying. And I'm so glad I was obedient tonight because I did not expect Tony Gassens to come up here. I did not expect for him to share this. So, God is good. God is truly good. Okay. God is truly good. All right. Okay. Kenya Martin. Come on. Kenya is here from the blessed tribe. Kenya said, TG is a blessing and now you're a blessing. Girl, don't make me shout. She said, due to my mom putting a relaxer in my hair at the age of seven, I have no edges. Oh, bless your heart. I'm 50 years old now. Still no edges. Kenya, God bless you. God bless you, Kenya. You came to the right channel, girl. Look, lift up your hands. Now, I know you don't know me, but lift up your hands. We're going to set you free in 2023, okay? The edges are coming back, okay? And y'all need to start prophesying over y'all edges. Did y'all know that? That's how you can get your edges to grow. Prophesy over those edges. Speak life into your hair. Say, my edges will grow back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Speak over your life. Speak over your life. So thank you for being here tonight, Kenya. I hope these tips help you, okay? Okay, Um. let's see. Any other questions? I see 40 people in the chat. My mind is still blown. Unapologetically me. So grateful for your tips. Hey, bless tribe. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. Thank you. I'm my jaws hurt. You hear me? My jaws hurt. I'm smiling so hard. Okay. All right. I need to let's take a break. <laughs> my jaws hurt. <laughs> okay. Courtney said, Bless Trial, hit that like. And look, now I got people coming here to and saying hit the like button. Now God is good. Now God, God is showing out tonight. The Lord is showing out. The Lord is showing out. Won't he do it for you? Now, Acacia, don't get me started now, Acacia, because I will stand up and start shouting now. 
Now do I <laughs> I was saying I'm gonna start shouting. <laughs> Lord, I'm glad I wore pants tonight. Father, we thank you. Lord, I thank you that I actually got dressed tonight, Lord. I can stand up and shout in peace. Now let's go ahead and be real on these YouTube treat uh streets. Sometimes won't get dressed from the bottom down. <laughs> yes, I'm telling my business. So I'm glad I got dressed tonight so I can be at liberty and be free if I want to get up and shout because I got on clothes tonight. See, you see how the Holy Spirit works? <laughs> I'm just being real with y'all, okay? I'm being real. <laughs> okay, who else we got? Dr. Ray Nisa said, this live is a testament to your discussion earlier today on your walk. Just do it. It's the, it's the, I'm stuttering. It's for the Lord's glory. I'm telling y'all, if y'all didn't watch that live stream earlier, go, go watch it because you write Dr. Rodinista. This is a testament of the discussion. And I just said this morning, it doesn't matter who's watching Lisa. I just said, you don't know who is that one. I said, we serve a suddenly God. All it takes is one. I said, keep putting the content out there. It doesn't matter how many people watching it. Keep putting the content out there and share your gift. So y'all got to keep sharing y'all gift. Whatever you do, you might not be a YouTuber. You might not be a podcaster, but you can share your gift in the, in the community you stay in, where you live at. The school you work at, the job you work at, you can share your gift, okay? That's all I'm saying. All right, Divinity said, say, it's not what you see and feel in the flesh. It is being steadfast. Y'all trying to have church. Y'all trying to have church tonight, okay? So the blessed try, y'all like to have church. <laughs> okay. Caramel Kisses in the building. Hey, Caramel Kisses, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much. Okay. Obedience. Yes. Vanessa said, now, Vanessa, you asking for cash apps. You, it's a lot of comments. Now, y'all forgive me now. Now, I ain't TG. Now, y'all forgive me. Now, y'all forgive me. I ain't TG, but y'all forgive me. Now, where I missed the, the next comment. Okay. She said she 50. I think Tracy had posted my cash out, but y'all don't have to send cash apps, okay? Y'all don't have to send cash apps. Please, if, if the spirit ain't leading you, you don't have to send the cash out. I would rather y'all watch these videos and get these tips and get the pro find the products that you need, okay? So you get something in return, okay? What the Lord laid on your heart, I ain't going to deny the blessing. I ain't going to deny the blessing, okay? So God bless your sister Vanessa, okay? All right, my bit sister is here. <laughs> my sweet bit sister is here, Coach Sheena Major. Okay, she said, Hey, little sis, I'm here. Lift up your hands. <laughs> that goes my sweet bit sister tonight. Oh, she up late. Sweet look, bit sis, you up late. You up late watching this live stream. Okay, you up late, but thank you so much for joining. Okay, Mr. Gassens have been on it. Yes, he has. Yes, he has. Okay. Now, see. Now, see. I just got a revelation. How you have to prepare when no one is watching. Glory be to God. You have to prepare when no one is watching. Acacia, Tracy Ann, Coach Mama Tish. When I only had one or two people watching my videos, they agreed to be moderators. Okay, and I said, y'all go back and watch live stream from a year ago. I said, okay, God is preparing me because it might come a day where I might have more people watching my live stream. So we got to get in order. So you need to prepare in the dark. You need to prepare when no one is watching. You need to do the work when no one is watching. You need to have integrity when no one is watching. And that's a word. That's a word. That is a word. Come on now. Come on. Thank you, Tracy Ann, for posting the cash out. I appreciate that. All right. Rita Moore is here from the Blessed Tribe. I have subscribed to your channel. Thank you for being obedient. God bless y'all. 
for subscribing. And I'm telling you, I'm not just hyping it up. Y'all are in for a treat. I got a lot of videos, so y'all are in for a treat. So thank you so much for being here, okay? Jay said he is so funny. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, it does. Thank you, okay? Coach Sheena said, Jay, be prepared to keep laughing. Lisa, yeah, y'all will be laughing now. That's what we do in the Smiles Tribe. That's what we do. That's what we do. Okay, Amanda says, I generally wear my hair in a bun or in crochet protective styles. Been using olive oil moisturizer, mango lime, mango lime, and avocado flat seed. Oh, Amanda, you came to the right one. So Amanda using avocado, mango. Now, is that olive oil moisturizer, is that a product? And I see you using mango, lime, and avocado. But I think that mango, lime, and avocado, I think that's a product. Now, are you using raw honey? Flat seed honey mousse on my hair, but it's still dry. Now, Amanda, I got a question. Is this, is this stuff out your kitchen or is this real products? Are these actual products? Because I'm about to set you free. Let me know in the chat. Dr. Ray Nisa said, another t-shirt. My edges are coming back. Moderator screenshot that screenshot. Okay, welcome to the live king. You in the right place. Binge watch some of Lisa videos, they will bless you. <laughs> yeah, y'all go binge watch. Y'all gonna have a good old time laughing. Okay, jaws, <laughs> bit sister, coach Tina Major. Yes, I love it. She's such a great personality. Well, awesome vibe. Oh, thank you, Jay. Thank you. Gigi said, we have a church over here. Y'all show sure this. Is it Maya Jones? Thank you for your wisdom. New subscriber. Bless try. Bless try. Y'all showing sure at. Y'all came through with let me Let me let me drink some water. Look at that. 56, no, 58 people didn't hit the like button. And I was up here sad because y'all ain't hit the like button. All right, God. I... Lord, I trust you. I trust you, Lord. Okay. All right. Any more questions? Okay. Okay. Sweet Angel is in the building. Hey, Sweet Angel. I like that name, Sweet Angel. Um, Let's see. Vernell said, walk like you have somewhere to go in God's authority. Be unspotted by the world. Now, Vernell, now you got that word up in you now. Now you got the word up in you. I hear you, sister girl. You better walk into God's authority. Mm, 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 mm. She said, you have to have discipline when no one is watching because you never know who is walking to be. Hold on now. Now I can read y'all. Hold on now. Because the comments going fast. Now I can read now. I can read. Now y'all bear with me. <laughs> Vernell said you have to have discipline when no one is watching because you never know who's walking. I think she messed up. Now hold on. I can read now. Vernell I think you typed that wrong. But God bless you. We're going to keep reading. Because you never know who, when you entertain the angel. We got the lesson. We got. Yeah. So you have to be disciplined. When no one is watching because you never know you're entertaining an angel. That's true. That's true. I, I got a quick story. Just right quick. Right quick. The spirit is moving on this. Okay. I remember one time it was me, my mama, my brother. I got a twin sister and an older brother. My dad, I think he was at work. My mom, we was on the highway. It was a hot summer day. We was driving down the highway. My mama car broke down on the highway, middle interstate. We had to pull over to the side and we was walking off the highway. Kid you not. This man rode up in his all white car. He had on all white. He stopped. Nice looking fella. Okay. Now I had to be about 11, 12, but I was looking. Okay. Nice looking fella. Beautiful eyes and say, Hey ma'am, do y'all need a ride? Now this man was another color. So back then, my mom was like, no, nah, keep walking, okay? Because we are black people, and we are not about to stop. But I guess my mama felt comfortable, and 
uh, the man asked did we need help, and she was telling that our car broke down, and we just need to ride to the gas station so she can call her husband or whatever. This man picked us up, and here go my mama. Wait, get in the front. Get in the front. Tell my brother get in the front, because I guess my mama thought the man was going to touch a thigh. I don't know. She, Mama Judy probably thought the man was going to touch a thigh. That man ain't thinking about you, Mama Judy. Okay? Man, brother get in the front. And so when we got in the back seat, he looked like he was a businessman. He had all these white pieces of paper and had a white briefcase. Everything was white. And I'm telling you, I think this was an angel. The car was white. The, look, and the man happened to be white. <laughs> but he had these magical eyes, these eyes I have never seen. Okay? I'm not making this up. And he was like, and we got in that car because my mama ain't had no air conditioning. So I was like, whoo, praise God. We got a little walk. You know what I'm saying? We got us a ride. And so he was like, I can take you to your house. And I'm like, no, just take us straight to the gas station. I'm like, no, take us to the house. It's hot. Like, when we get to the gas station, then we got to wait till daddy to get off work. But my mama, she was scared. I get it. He took us to the gas station. Don't y'all know, that man dropped us off at the gas station. And we, I think my brother had ran to the gas station to get some chips. And my sister, she had turned around. And so... My mama was like, well, let me give you something for taking us here. We turned around. I promise you for a split second, the car was gone. The car was gone. You know how like when a car pull off, you can see it down the highway. We, we didn't see the car down the highway. Nothing. Car gone. I said there was an angel. And I'm thinking like, well, shoot, if that was an angel, he should have took us to the house. <laughs> then we had to sit there and wait for an hour for my daddy to get off work. But that was an angel. So you just never know when you entertain the angel. So I had to put that story out there, okay? Y'all didn't ask for that story, but we're going to set that right there because that sound good, as Tony Gassens will say, okay? All right. So Amanda said, yes, those, yes, yeah, those are products. Okay. The lime oil is an oil spray. The last one is a mousse. Okay, so it sounds like you need, where's she at? Yeah, so if the olive oil moisturizer is a spray, you have to remember that oils are a sealant. Oils are not moisturizers, y'all. True moisture comes from water, okay? So I had to burp, I'm sorry. True moisture comes from water. So you need to be drinking the water. You need to be shampooing your hair. And if you're looking to moisturize your hair, you need to use an actual moisturizer like a leave-in conditioner or a hair, hair milk. And you can seal it with a oil, okay? So just putting spray oils and stuff on your hair is not going to moisturize your hair, okay? So I hopefully that answer your question. And then another thing, Amanda, is um, you might have product buildup. So if you have a lot of buildup on your hair, you need to clarify your hair. You need to do a deep cleansing shampoo. I have a deep cleansing shampoo on my website where when you clarify your hair, that's going to remove everything because you need a clean slate. And then you follow up with a moisturizing shampoo. Now, I know some of y'all get scared when I say clarifying shampoo and all of that, but you need that reset. It's kind of like how you put on perfume and you ain't even washed. You need to wash. You need to wash before you start slapping on some perfume. Okay, you need a clean slate. Okay, so wash. Now, Amanda, I ain't talking about you, but we're going to set that right there because I was thinking about it. Okay, so just remember that sometimes you, your hair needs a reset. You need to clarify your hair and then use a moisturizing shampoo and then that way your other products can work. Okay, so hopefully that helped, Amanda. Okay, and... Oh, man, I missed the... Oh, the comments are jumping. Okay, Coach, is it Mar Martina? Now, forgive me if I said your name wrong, but she said she is a new subscriber from the Blessed Tribe, and I'm loving this live. Well, praise God. I'm glad you're loving it, okay? Vernell, Vernell said, Lisa, you got the assignment. You know what I was trying to say. Yeah, I know it. I knew what you were trying to say. I knew it. Okay, okay. My sweet Coach Sheena, my sweet big sister said, y'all, this is how Coach Sheena's talk. Now, I got to plug her, okay? 
Now, if y'all not following Coach Shayna Major, I don't know what you're doing to your life. Yeah, I'm looking at you up and down. Because one thing about my sweet bitch sister, you're going to get that word up in you now. Now, she, now, now I got to talk like her because she has the sweetest voice. And she says, Jesus has been with you then and he is with you now, little Lisa. Keep reading the word and walking by faith. <laughs> I had, now y'all, I'm good with these impersonations now. Now I had to read that like Coach Sheena. Because now, now if y'all go to her channel and y'all listen to her read that Bible, she, that's how she can read that word to you, okay? That's how she can read that word to you. So that's how I had to read it like that. But thank you for that lovely comment, okay? Um, Jade said, wow, I love that. Yes, yes, it was an angel. It was an angel. It was an angel, okay? Vanessa said, what's a good way to moisturize dreads? Ooh, this is a good question. So a good way to moisturize dreads is you can simply get you a, a Mr. Water bottle and you can mist it with water and then seal it with some um, oil or you can get mist it with a leave-in conditioner and then seal it with oil. Another trick that I always tell my other clients is when you take a shower, don't wear a shower cap. So maybe pull your locks up into like a ponytail. And as you washing your body, okay, as you washing your body, okay, let the steam from the shower get on your locks. And it's going to make your locks moist. Get your mind out the gutter, okay? You need to be set free from that Jezebel spirit. When your locks are nice and moist from the shower, then you can follow up with like a leave-in conditioner and also like a hair milk or the moisture lock like I have on my page. So hopefully that tip help you with your locks. Yeah, y'all go subscribe to my, my bit sis, Coach Sheena. Cause she be, Coach Sheena be really over there doing the Lord's work. Okay, reading that Bible to us in, her, in the most sweetest, the most loving way you can have the Bible read to you. Because on the Bible app, they be barking at you. They be like, and Jesus said, thou sh-. I'm like, why are you yelling at me? It's early in the morning. I said, now, Coach Sheena, you need to contact the Bible app and tell them to send you a check because they need to hire you to read that Bible. We need something pleasant and sweet in the morning because they be barking on that Bible app. I done changed the different uh, versions. They still barking. I'm like, y'all trying to literally scare the bejesus out of me. Now, I know we're supposed to have a fear of the Lord, but y'all scaring me. And if y'all listen to that man on the Bible app, read that Bible. Oh, you want to go get saved right now. Okay. Now, I don't think it should be that scary. Now, Bob app, now y'all, Bob app sent me a check. Bob app, y'all got to do better. Y'all got to do better. Y'all need to get Coach Sheena because Coach Sheena, she going to read to y'all so sweet. Okay. All right. Amen. Okay. So. Y'all get Coach Sheena to read that Bible to you. Y'all go Coach Sheena read the Old uh, New Testament. And now we're on the Old Testament, okay? And look, the Spirit be moving. The Spirit be moving, okay? So Coach Sheena, send me a check. <laughs> I'm just playing, Coach Sheena. I'm just playing. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not playing. Coach Sheena, you ready to send me a check? I just playing, I just playing. <laughs> okay, y'all, let me stop goofing off. Now, y'all, I got to go up here and do somebody here tomorrow, okay? Oh, I'm going to be going live tomorrow morning because I'm going to be doing um, one of my subscribers is coming to get her hair done. And I'm so excited about it. Um, Chrissy is coming to get her hair done in the morning and she is in for a treat. She is in for a treat. So always oh, say low battery. OK, so y'all, I got to get ready and go. All right. Let's take one last question. Dr. Um, Rory Nisa said. What's a good idea to tell your braider to make the braids larger around the edges? You tell your braider, look, look, sister, make them braids larger around the edges. Just keep it plain and simple because, first of all, I don't want you to pull out my edges. Now, nah, don't say, no, no, don't, don't have no bass in your voice, okay? Don't have no bass in your voice. Let me, let me, let me show the love of Christ. Let me show the love of Christ. You tell your braider, like, hey, um, when you're doing my hair, I want you to make the braids around the edges a little bit larger. Or you can even tell your braider to like maybe keep some of your edges out and get your little swoop on. Okay, get your little swoop-de-doop on. Okay, 
But don't have no bass in your voice, okay? Take that, take that bass out your voice, sis, okay? Stop smacking that gum and rolling your neck. Rolling your neck, okay? <laughs> y'all don't be doing that because y'all part of the blessed tribe. So I know y'all don't do that, okay? All right. Yep. All right. Oh, you're welcome, Amanda. Oh, you're welcome. You are so welcome. All right. Um, gla Glamour is in the building. She said barking. Now, Glamour, you laughing because you know that man be barking on, on that Bible app. You know he do. You know he do. Okay, so this is the last question for real now. This is the last question. Uh, Tracy that came in with the buzz beater. <laughs> she said, um, what time are you seeing Chrissy? I don't want to miss that. Oh, Chrissy appointment is at 9.30 a.m. It's almost 11 o'clock. I got to go take off. Yeah, I got to take off my bra now. I got to go. Now, I can't take off my bra on this live stream now. <laughs> but now, her appointment is at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. But I probably won't go live right when she walk in the door now. I got to give her her space because she probably going to fall asleep in that shampoo bowl. And we ain't going to embarrass her. We ain't going to do her like that. Chrissy, if you watch it, I ain't going to do you like that, okay? I'm going to let you enjoy your shampoo services without people looking in your face, okay? So look for me to go live anywhere between maybe 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, somewhere between that, okay? All right. All right. All right. Oh, it's going to. Oh, I'll still be at home. That's 630 a.m. Oh, yeah, it's going to be early for you on the West Coast, Tracy Ann, on the West Coast. Now, look, this has been li uh, live. Now, look, if you watching this in replay and you would have made it to the 106, well, you made it to the end of the live stream. I want you to put obedience is better than sacrifice. Put that in the chat. Now, y'all don't put it in the chat if you're live now because you're live. So, I know you have made it to the end. But y'all going to still do it because y'all don't listen. Y'all don't listen anyway. Go ahead and put it in the chat. Put obedience is better than sacrifice for this live stream, okay? I want to go ahead and thank my lovely moderators because, look, I got to do something nice for my moderators because my y'all made my moderators work hard tonight. Sister Acacia and Sister Tracy Ann, the head ushers, they handing out fans tonight. So, y'all thank Acacia. And Tracy Ann for moderating the chat tonight. Now look at y'all, 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 y'all don't listen. Look at look at Coach uh, Martina. <laughs> I'm just playing with you. You don't know me. You don't know me. And look, I can't fight. Okay, so please don't fight me. I can't fight. <laughs> I'm just playing with you. Look, y'all go ahead and show the moderator some love, and also uh, Coach Mama Tish in her absence. Go ahead and show her some love. I want to truly thank all the blessed tribe for coming over tonight. I want to thank Mr. Tony Gaskins for sharing my video tonight. God bless you, my brother. Thank y'all for coming over. Thank y'all so much for subscribing and watching these hair tips. And I hope y'all able to come on to more and binge watch some of the old videos. I have a lot of hair gems on how to grow your hair and a lot of good stuff. And y'all gonna laugh. I tell my business on my channel, so if y'all want to see some, y'all, some of y'all messy. Some of y'all going to go and watch my story times. I know y'all knows he y'all messy. Okay, I tell my business, okay, but I tell my business so God can get the glory out of my story and so his name can be lifted higher. Come on, somebody, okay? So that's all I have for y'all tonight. Y'all have a beautiful night, and I will see y'all in the live stream. Bye. Now, look, now I got my finger. <laughs> Bye, y'all. I love all of y'all.